Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about how to get a distinction in accounting. Obviously, I'm speaking specifically to grade 12. So I've gathered these tips so that I can give them to you guys. So I need you to listen very, very carefully so that you can understand. Make sure you listen very, very carefully. And in the end of the video, I'll just summarize the tips for you guys. So listen very carefully so that you might benefit from this video. To achieve a distinction in accounting, you will need to focus on understanding the concepts truly and applying them effectively. Here are some steps you can take to improve your performance in accounting subjects. So I will start with understanding the basics. What falls in understanding the basics? Master the fundamentals, ensure you have a solid understanding of basic accounting principles, such as debits, credits, double entry, bookkeeping, and accounting equations. This is the most simple thing that you need to understand that you are most of the time you are taught in grade 11. And another one is study techniques. Study techniques, effective study schedule. Create a study schedule that allows you to regularly review the material and practice problem solving. Another one is actually that falls under study techniques is use resources. Utilize textbooks, online resources, and practice questions to reinforce your understanding of accounting concepts. Another one is seek help when needed. The one that I included in my past video. If you come across a challenging topic, don't hesitate to seek help from your instructor or tutors or classmates or your teachers. Another one we are going to, um, which is also important that you need to know is, to, is, is practical application. Real life examples, try to relate accounting concepts to, to real life scenarios to better understand their practical applications. Practice problems. Regularly practice solving accounting problems to reinforce your understanding. That's it guys. And we are going to the most important one, which is preparation for exams. What falls under preparation for exams, which is past papers. I've made it to be uh, the topic to be past papers. Practice with past exam papers to familiarize yourself with exam format and the types of questions asked. Time management. Practice time management during exams to ensure you can complete all questions within the allocated time. Then there are some additional tips that I also found is to stay updated. Keep up with changes in the accounting standards and regulations. Maintain organized notes and summaries of key concepts for revision. By following these steps and dedicating consistent effort to your studies, you can improve your chances of achieving a distinction in the accounting subject. So guys, these are all the steps. So as I promised, I'll need to summarize them all. So guys, this one actually comes from me because I'm summarizing the, the study tips. It's not part of my research. So as I've said, things that I have mentioned that you should use past papers, that's very important. And also study schedule. When you need to pass accounting, and remember that accounting is the most difficult subject in the whole world. So you need to put on extra effort. So guys, you need a study schedule for this one. Guys, I'm serious. You need a study schedule. Um, you cannot play one of these these smart games you think that you you wouldn't study or something like that you need a study schedule where you're gonna practice accounting if you don't practice accounting there's no way you're gonna get a distinction i wouldn't lie even if you're the smartest kid or you're the smartest learner at school you won't get a distinction in accounting if you didn't practice it so guys you need to practice accounting you need to practice accounting and make sure that you understand and you seek for help in case let's say you don't understand a certain topic you don't understand how to calculate, how to do ordinary shares topic, which is the most simple topic in accounting. You don't understand how to do it. You need to get help, guys. You need to ask others how you do it and ask for help. It will be, it will be beneficial. So I've managed to gather these tips um, to give them to you guys so that you can get a distinction. Don't make the same mistake that I did. These tips are from the people who are smart who got a distinction, obviously. So don't make the same mistake I did. I didn't practice accounting much, so I didn't get a distinction in accounting. Just imagine. I didn't practice that much in accounting. I thought I would just pull off one of the miracles and get a distinction. So I didn't get a distinction. I just passed accounting. Obviously, I was disappointed that I didn't get a distinction because I promised people that I would get a distinction. So guys, don't make the same mistake I did. 
you practice accounting you also create a study schedule make sure you do that guys and the one that's important is to practice accounting don't try to play a smart move where you don't you don't practice accounting regularly and you think that you'll practice on last minute please guys don't do that you will definitely you will definitely you will definitely get bad news so guys make sure if you don't understand the topic you seek for help if you don't understand the topic make sure you seek for help guys seek for help ask others remember these tips come from people who have got a distinction so i've summarized them all and put them into one so guys make sure you subscribe to the channel as you can see these are short videos subscribe to the channel like the video share the video don't be selfish guys peace